Guys, there's been a lot of talk lately about wireless charging. Is it a real thing? I mean, is wireless charging going to come to Tesla electric cars or other brands? And will wireless charging roads? I just made a video on wireless, a new wireless charging highway in Miami. There's also a little section in Detroit. There's other wireless charging highways in a number of countries now around the world. How do they even work if you don't have an EV that can use them? Well, Tesla has now confirmed it will have wireless charging on its future electric cars. It's very likely the Tesla Model 2, in fact, will have this new technology. Which I think is really good news. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Tesla has confirmed it is, in fact, developing a wireless inductive electric charging platform for owners. In an interview with Jay Leno, wireless charging, is it good? I mean, you'd think it'd be quite slow, but actually it's not. It's not quite as good as using a plug, but apparently wireless charging roads can feed in as much as 200 kilowatt charging speeds, which is very fast. Could Tesla's wireless charging be capable of 200 kilowatt wireless charging speeds? Well, we don't really know, but I suspect it could be. Earlier this year, Tesla, well, we knew Tesla was working on wireless charging systems. It actually purchased a wireless charging company. It then sold that company because, uh, well, it had better technology itself than it had worked on essentially. So that's what happened there. Now, the theory here for Tesla is having wireless charging means you don't have to plug your car in. You don't have to think about it. You just drive straight into your garage, straight into your carport. Your car starts charging for you. The other thing is here, Tesla wants its cars to be future-proof. So when there are more wireless charging highways, more wireless charging areas, for example, like there are in Japan now, they're putting wireless charging at, at, at traffic lights, which make more sense, I think, because then you're going to be sitting there for longer. If you're sitting there at a light for, say, a couple of minutes, you get more charge into your car. So these rumors were actually started about Tesla's wireless charging back at Tesla's shareholder event in March. That's when Tesla released an image of a wireless charging, uh, well, a Tesla vehicle that was actually doing wireless charging in the garage. And also they had a charging pod, kind of like a charging panel on the wall, which was clearly set up for wireless charging capability. So these rumors came about and they actually grew after Tesla purchased a European wireless charging company called Wiferian, which was working to develop wireless EV charging. It had worked with Tesla in the past. However, it appears as though what happened was Tesla worked with them, but then sold the company shortly afterwards, but it kept the company's engineers. So that's just something that most people didn't realize. And Tesla Radi pointed this out quite rightly. Tesla, when they sold Wiferian, they kept the most important engineers who understood how the technology works. They now work for Tesla. And why would you keep those engineers unless you plan on having wireless charging in your future EVs? Tesla hasn't talked much about wireless charging so far. In fact, very, very, almost never has Tesla talked about wireless charging. However, in an interview with Jay Leno, Franz, actually from Tesla, he said, he's the company's chief designer, he said that Tesla was developing inductive charging, which of course is wireless charging. He said, oh, we're working on the inductive charging. So you don't need to plug something in at that point. You just pull in your garage, drive over the pad, and you're charging. And I mean, um, how far away is the day of having a Tesla home charging car only unit, you know, for your garage? They, oh, we're working on inductive charging, are, so are they, uh, you don't even need to plug something in at that point. Or you just, just pull out your garage, pad, drive over the yeah, pad, yeah. and charge it. To me, it doesn't sound like they're just working on it. It sounds like it's actually a product. And I think it's very likely the first vehicle it's going to go into is going to be the Tesla Model Y, the Juniper version of the Model Y, which will come out around the middle of 2024, according to a number of different sources. Wireless charging for EVs has, of course, been in development for years. The state of Michigan completed its first EV charging road, and of course, Miami is doing a charging freeway as well. Will wireless charging be big in the future? I don't think it will be huge. And the reason I say that is because, honestly, it doesn't really save much. I mean, 
realistically, I think a lot of people will probably use it at home. Not a large percentage, but quite a few people will use it at home. But honestly, plugging a plug-in is, it takes so little effort to do that. So I don't personally see it really taking off in terms of having freeways and highways and you know streets and areas in cities where you have wireless charging. I think plugs are probably gonna be the dominant the dominant form of charging over the next five to 10 years. However, that said, that really does depend on who drives it. Because if, if people want it, I think Tesla's gonna have it. If people want to do, have wireless charging, then it's gonna be something that would be deployed. So it really depends on customer demand. Do you guys want wireless charging? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.